the sort of last of a kind because now we have a situation in the Premier League where a lot of the owners uh, are foreign, a lot of the owners don't regularly go to games, a lot of the owners may be buying clubs for financial reasons rather than emotional reasons. He was totally the opposite. He was somebody who was a West Ham supporter who loved the club, who started off with nothing, and then when he had the money to be able to uh, buy the club and become a co-owner, that is exactly what he did. He used to go to every game, home and away, uh, even when times were tough, even when he was uh, getting abused by West Ham supporters, he was willing to take that on, uh, not just in person, also on social media. And it wasn't just about uh, going to games home and away, he wanted to be at the training ground as well. So he was very, very involved. And as I said, he was the last of a kind because there are not too many owners left like him in the Premier League. And I don't know how many there will be in the Any future. Any loss is a sad loss. And um, our condolences go to his daughters, his wider family, his fiance, and everybody that knew David Gold. He was a lifelong West Ham fan. I mean, he even played for the youth team. He grew up opposite the bowling ground. So this was not a passing fad. He had a lifelong attachment, involvement and love of West Ham. Now, uh, some sad breaking news to bring you. David Gold, the West Ham joint chairman, has died at the age of 86. Uh, the club have just announced the news and, and they say this. It is with deep sadness that West Ham United FC confirm that our beloved joint chairman David Gold passed away on Wednesday morning following a short illness. Uh, David Gold, uh, 86 years of age, died peacefully with his devoted daughters Jacqueline and Vanessa and his fiancée Leslie by his side. A lifelong and ardent West Ham United fan, uh, David Gold was born in Stepney in September 1936 and grew up at 442 Green Street, directly opposite the Berlin ground, West Ham's former ground before they moved to the London Stadium. As a promising young schoolboy player, he represented the club's boys team. Uh, between the ages of 13 and 16, he later appeared uh, in the youth team. After forging a career as a hugely successful businessman, his life came full circle in January 2010 when he became joint chairman of West Ham United following the successful takeover that helped to steady the ship and protect the club's future during a period of great financial uncertainty. West Ham United joint chairman David Sullivan said, on behalf of everyone at the football club, it is with profound sorrow and a heavy heart that we mourn the passing of our colleague and friend David Gold. Of all our joint ventures, none gave us more pride and happiness than the day that we took ownership of West Ham United, our club, in January 2010. Uh, David had had a, a long-standing connection with the Hammers, having grown up opposite the Berlin ground in Green Street and represented the club at junior level. He always wanted what was best for West Ham United and his passing is a great loss for all of us. Uh, manager David Moyes added, I'm extremely sad to hear this news and on behalf of all the players and my staff at the training ground, I would like to extend our deepest sympathies to David Gold's family at this very difficult time. Uh, Mr Gold was a regular visitor to Rush Green, uh, the training ground, was also a source of great support and encouragement to myself and the players. It was clear that he had a genuine and sincere love for the club and was a true supporter at heart. He took a great interest in people working behind the scenes and was always keen to help in any way he could. He will be greatly missed. Uh, the thoughts and sincere condolences of everyone at West Ham are with David Gold's two daughters, Jacqueline and Vanessa, his fiance Leslie, and all of his sad, uh, family and friends at this extremely sad time. So West Ham have announced their joint chairman, David Gold, has died at the age of 86.